Hello everyone, my name is Mohammad Rahim. So today we will learn how can we extract the data from the website using the data scraping. So you can see I am already extract the I am already open a website. Website name is car car wale. So we need to extract the detail from this website and write to that detail into a Excel sheet. And also we need to use a dynamic selector to ex make a dynamic selector to extract the car name from this website and write that detail into right line so let's start how can we do that so firstly open a process workflow and take a screen scrapping and open your website and just click on next and select the car name or give select a table cell would you like to extract the data from the whole table we can select now then click on the next car name and here we are where the column name is car name click next click on the extract more then click on the price then we are select the next part price and here we are part the name is price and click next and here you are typing how many results you want to extract from the website and write to the excel sheet so we have the we are type on the hey 100 then they are provide the 100 result if you need to extract the unlimited result then you can write on 0 if you need to extract the 10 result then you can write on 10 and if you need to extract the 50 then you can type on 50 so we need to extract the unlimited then click on finished and you can see here we have now the next button in that case we are select the no And make the edit is selected for the phone. No, remove the exception. So we are select the provide the file button here. Okay, and take a Excel sheet, Excel application score to write the details into Excel. And I take a right range. And here we need to provide any result. We have provided the double quotation car result dot provide the extension Excel as X remove the range because we need to write the whole data table so select the data table okay and then save it click to run what is you can see the on the what is running on the background so they are extract all the detail and one more we are doing one mistake we are click on the add selector save it and dot it again <coughs> so check the output what up we are uh, get it so click on the card result dot xls excel sheet open it and here you can see we are 
extract all the card detail and his price in right kilometer so you can see here okay just don't save it so now we are using how can we extract the card name using the wild card select so for that what we are doing we are just already command this and use a while loop we can take a while loop to extract the 50 card name from the asset then we are using create a variable counter counter variable type is integer and then we are provide the values less than or equal to 50 after that what we are doing we are take a right line activity take almost we are taking the assign activity to increase the index of this and we are provide the counter index is equal to 1 which then default value is one counter so for that what we are doing we are using counter and here we are using counter plus 1 and here if you want to check the name of the counter how can we increase the counter in that then you can simply take the right line and provide the counter dot to string and run it you can check what is the output you will get it from so this thing so you can see the output panel so we have we start from the one and end to the 50 so after this we need to we make a use a wild card and increase the use a wild card extract the con name so for that what we are doing we are taking get text activity get text and indicate the con name click on it and edit his selector so here we need to move the we need to change this okay firstly we are click on the open in your explorer and here we know we, we just edit his title for the wild card and okay and here we know we no need to the a name Click on the eight and if we are click on the eight and check is okay nice so it's select on the next card so our select our selector is ready so we need to up provide the our variable so you can see here we have the two curly braces that's mean we are make the selector dynamic pass the variable in that selector just click on save and go to the website and click on save and here we need to create a variable name is card name and select in right output into right line so how can we check we just take a right line and just save it and run it
somehow is fine so we can just check the output so here you can see we get the output is the some spaces and line and some and so we need to remove that line and spaces for that what we are doing we are taking a sign activity and inside a sign for what we are doing we are creating variable names control key car car and inside of this we are using a string dot join like a double space double com quotation mark and space comma and provide the variable name is car name dot split correct okay. curly braces and set curly braces what we are doing we are trying in a wide one and dot new line we remove the white line space for that we are using the vp c or lf and then we are using the v b l f comma double quotation here we are split that thing and convert to the vb t a v comma v b c r new line calibrate comma the string split options dot remove empty entities then click on Okay. Maybe I'm doing one mistake here. I'm doing some mistakes, so I'll just check it. Okay, because well, I'm just provide the I and B replace that I into the L. So just click on it save it and write the c and save it and then click on to check the output so you can see here we get the output is in the same line Thank <laughs> you.
so today is and um, that process you can learn how can we use the data scrapping to extract the data from the website and also in that process we learn how can we use the dynamics like how can we make the dynamics selector and extract the name of the car and write that detail into the right liner we are using the while loop also in that case and how we get the 15 result from the we we are extract the 15 result from the website and write that result into the output so let's so that's finished you can see if you want to see here see it again so you can see we get the 50 output you can see here so that's it please subscribe my channel and to like my video and if you want to suggest me anything what type video you want to see please comment my video i'll make the video relate regard your requirement thank you everyone